What's up, Air Signs? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in This Bitch. Join me as I read your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, LaurelsMoon.com. Okay, so... Let's see what's going on for my lovely air signs, Gemini, Libra, motherfucking Aquarius up in this bitch spiritual. Welcome into this reading. Massage for the gods. That was kind of weak, so we're going to do one more. Yes, honey, yes. So we're going to get three cards. All right. And um, with these three cards, we're going to uh, choose these piles for each one and then possible outcomes. So you already know how I fucking do. We're going to get to the truth off top. Past life relationship. You've known each other before for the 20th through the 21st. All right. Now, look, he's trying to touch a little sum. Reach out and touch. <laughs> there could be some issues you might need to let go of, some control issues, okay? Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Take your time on dealing with this motherfucker, okay? And also stay optimistic. Positive thinking about positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So stay positive about your situation. All right? And I do feel there for some of you all, there could be someone who needs to free themselves. So let's see what's going on with um, letting go of control issues off top. Y'all know, let's see the bad first, the ugly. Letting go of control issues, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You got the Knight of Wands energy here. So I feel like you're having to let go of making actions. Okay, it could be guarding yourself as well with the Seven of Cups coming out of that, coming out of healing with the Four of Sword energy here. Okay, I'm definitely seeing for some of you guys, there is this vibe. That there could be somebody who is using talking or using um, talking as a manipulation with this uh, tower energy and also with the seven of wands and the four of swords. Okay, coming in reverse. I'm definitely feeling like for some of you all, this energy um, that you're needing to let go of is ending a situation overall with feeling betrayed. Okay, some of you all could be feeling like there's some betrayals, but at the same time. Um, it's just a lot of things and a lot of energy that you're not put, trying to bring forward, okay? Uh, five of one energy here, having a lot of struggles, mind games, um, a lot of people that bring on, you know, this defense that you're having to combat. Also with the Ace of Cups, I'm definitely seeing here, you know, someone is not wanting to offer some love because there could be someone who's being very controlling. You have a magician energy here and also the death energy. So they're definitely feeling powerless is how I'm seeing this with the magician energy. Coming in reverse and the death energy, you know, afraid to make a change, make, afraid to make a restart here. Okay, so let's see. Um, yeah, definitely cutting the situation off. You could be having some sharp words that you might want to say is what I'm seeing here, air signs. You got the king of swords energy, somebody who's detached, but they're also, you know, willing to come in and tell you about yourself and tell you the truth. And if you don't like the truth, it's going to come out too fucking blunt, too honest. All right. Could be a cycle that's ending here as well for some of you guys with that will of fortune. So let's see about stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you motherfucking romance. All right. So could be someone from the past that you're just needing to let go, you know, and start a new beginning with. Or there could be somebody that you're definitely thinking of that has brought you some sort of injustice. Or it could have been that there was someone who was player-like bringing injustice towards you that you felt uh, the truth needed to come out in this situation overall, especially with this moon energy up in this bitch. You could be dealing with the Pisces as well. So, <clears throat> okay, page of pencils could be someone younger, could be somebody who's going back and forth. You know, you could be going back and forth in your head about these messages or the things that you're going to place forward in front of you. Um, but I definitely feel like the truth is coming out with this moon energy here. Now, for some of you all, you could be dealing with a Leo, possible Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn for sure. All right, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I'm definitely seeing here, um, it's like someone is like tired of carrying on the weights, but they're still 
in this fluctuation mode of what it is they're going to do, okay? So it's saying stay optimistic about that shit. There could be someone who's coming in and out, but it could be gradual, okay, with a lot of these physical energies that they could be slowly but surely practical matters is guiding them into the place and the direction that they need to be in, okay? So definitely take your time, stay optimistic, air signs. I feel like someone is holding on to a situation. Um, could be possible Taurus as well. Sun, moon, or rising. But I'm seeing here in your past life relationship, there could be uh, someone who wants some forward movement with that chariot energy, possible cancerian. Uh, I definitely feel that there is someone who has some anxiety. They're needing to let go of the anxiety because of this past life relationship. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're also Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Somebody could be making a final decision or is at a crossroads between displaying their emotions and what decisive uh, energy they're going to bring to you. Okay, I do feel there's definitely a lot of give and take between the situation. Could be some sexual energy here with this past life relationship. Uh, you guys could be dealing with someone who's wanting to bring in fairness and balance. It also could be a student or somebody who's kind of, you know, uh, really needing to research a few things in their life. I'm definitely seeing here with this Ace of Wands, a lot of love energy coming through. Could be some sex energy is why you're holding on to this past life relationship. So uh, for some of you guys, I'm definitely seeing that there could have been someone who's getting rid of a third party. You already know the truth, okay? But I still feel you're a little defensive towards this person. Definitely some sort of foundation issues uh, that they could be going through with the Four of Wands. But I feel you guys are taking care of your own stability. Any motherfucking ways, air signs, okay? Um, so let's see about possible outcomes for the 20th through the 21st. Possible outcomes. Here we go. I'm going to use a right away deck for this. Possible outcomes for my air signs. All right, we got the temperance energy, the queen of pentacles. I feel like you're trying to maintain your balance. Some of you all could be trying to let go of a struggle, or there could be someone who's bringing you a struggle in this overall environment. But I feel um, there could be a Sagittarius that's shaking up this energy. It's been a lot of Sagittarian energy coming out here lately. Um, so it could be bringing like, you know, you and your partner are trying to bring things together, but there could be someone who's standing in the way of this balance or a third party that is bringing in imbalance, okay? But someone is willing to hold on or hold tight, okay? It could be some really good communication coming in with this hangman energy and also with the Ace of Swords, Right, someone could be communicating their losses or their sorrows between each other or how they felt things weren't going to work out. But I definitely feel like there's some sort of communication that someone is waiting for or someone's waiting for uh, for this person to speak up. All right. And tell the fucking truth with your bitch at. OK, <laughs> be honest with your feelings and yourself is what I'm seeing here. Air signs that you wanting this person to just. Speak the fuck up, make a final decision, say what the fuck you want, and life can go on in this solution. But I feel someone could be stuck in the past, or they're needing to be optimistic for some of you guys. And I'm definitely seeing here that they need to let go uh, of control issues, for sure. So with the Page of Pentacles out once again, I just feel like there is some sort of message where someone is going back and forth. Or you could be at a distance between someone where you're going back and forth with whether or not you're going to deal with that shit. You're going to put it in your mind, okay? Is it going to bother you while you're at work, while you're doing what you need to do? That's definitely what I'm saying here, okay? Uh, but I do feel there could be someone who's coming very, they're trotting very slowly with this night of uh, pentacle energy. But they're wanting to make an offer towards you. They're slowly being, they're being very precautious. Now, with a lot of these pages, it could be that there's a, a restart or someone definitely wants a new beginning with you, okay? But they're kind of moving in slow. They have to go back and forth. I got the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups air signs. So I feel like it's going to be a good time this week um, to, take, to be optimistic, to stay open, okay? Because there could be some things that might be coming your way, some offers, all right? Something that's going to please you. For some of you guys, because you've been waiting patiently is what I'm seeing here. You've been working hard. A lot of you guys will be working towards new situations. Now, this new beginning, Ace of Pentacles, um, Ace of Wands. I feel um, a lot of you all are really just 
in your head about if you're going to cut the situation off or if you're going to make it build, okay? But I feel like you're definitely closing yourself off. Uh, you could be just surveying your kingdom with this two of wands, waiting for your ships to come in. And I'm also seeing here that there's going to be a lot of differences between you guys, but you're trying to bring it together with this hair font energy. Okay, you could be dealing with, um, you know, outside entities of the environment of your home. Um, some of you all definitely could be dealing with letting go of a third party situation for sure. Now, a lot of you all are just really in your independence. You could be needing to watch out for Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, because I feel like this person could be guarded. All right. But I do see here um, you're very aware to this connection or someone is becoming aware to this connection. It could be like it's feeling like there's something that's unstoppable that someone is trying to stop. You got the Page of Swords, the High Priestess. Okay, someone could be watching you all. Uh, it could be someone younger, or you could be dealing with younger people. But I do feel there's definitely someone who's watching you all's relationship or watching this uh, overall. And they're in the environment that they have some control over. Okay. Now I do feel with uh, the Knight of Swords, someone wants to come in and out. Okay, so be aware of that. I do feel like they want to communicate, but at the same time, they're at a distance. It's definitely going to be a new beginning. You got two of the fool's energy up in this hole. Okay. So, yes, there's definitely going to be a new beginning for some of you all. I feel like you're definitely thinking of that toxic energy. Some of you all could be dealing with sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Okay. And feeling like, you know, it's not going to start how you want to. But I do feel with this justice energy here, things are going to be just fine. They're going to play out evenly. Okay. That fair balance. Look how she's holding the scales and the sword. Now, with the devil energy, just be aware um, that someone might want to bring you commitment or there could be a sexual commitment here for some of you guys. That it's, that's all it is. You could be dealing with uh, someone who is definitely being tricky. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy with this magician and also with the Ten of uh, the ten of Cups. Someone is definitely wanting to make a happy foundation and stir some shit up. Okay, They could be bringing in tricky energy, so be aware of that shit. I love you guys. I'm going to get on out of here. Uh, if you need to get a personal read from me, hit that description box down below. Check out my website, LaRosMoon.com, for any of the magical purposes and deviation markets and things of that nature, baby. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys.